Good morning. It's day five. Um, I did not sleep very well last night. I actually woke up at like two in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep. The dog barked at something and then full moon and uh, so I'm a little tired, but um, it has nothing to do with this plan that I'm on right now. So this morning I weighed myself. I was 172.3. Um, I've had consistent um, soft bowel movements, which is really good because you guys have no idea like how bad it was for me. Like I could not go to the bathroom sometimes for a couple days without some sort of cleanse intervention type of pill, um, a laxative type of thing. And um, when I switched to plant-based, things seemed to be working really well. And then all of a sudden my hormones just kind of went crazy. So I'm actually going to the doctor today to um, to talk with an OB about maybe some other issues, but I think I'm gonna have to go see an endocrinologist and I'm gonna have to search for one who's okay with fixing things with um, diet instead of prescribing pills, which in this area might be hard to find. So I might have to go like to um, a specialist in a bigger city, but today um, I forgot to take out all of my day five food. So, so I have my, um, this morning, my Island Green smoothie. Um, I nuked it in the microwave because it was completely frozen. And uh, I love this smoothie because it has, I'm pretty sure this is the one that has banana in it. And I love banana and I really, really miss my smoothies in the morning. Every morning, pre-reboot, I would have... Um, a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, um, a spoonful of the organic greens powder from Walmart. I would have about a cup of almond milk or rice milk with um, one banana, and then I would, that was all the same every single morning, and then I would change up my other fruit between blueberries or mango, um, strawberries, stuff like that, but I usually stuck with mango or blueberry and I had a cup of that in there as well. So I really miss those smoothies and I think that's going to be the hardest part for me in the morning is I just, it was a routine for me and I made it in the morning and I could take it and walk around and do my day. So just doing a juice, it doesn't have that smooth consistency and stuff. So I'm definitely going to keep smoothieing up every morning um, after this. I'm hoping that that's on Dr. Furman's plan as well, but we'll see. Um, so today, the rest of today is a Joe's Mean Green, so that'll be good. I like that juice. Um, and then my squash and apple soup for lunch, which is liquid. And then the second portion of the Mean Green in the afternoon and his detox soup for dinner. And then there's no more food. <laughs> it's all liquid. So, um... I actually think yesterday it was a little detrimental to me to actually eat a bunch of food after kind of segueing off of food. Um, I feel kind of bloated this morning and I mean my digestion's working. I can feel things moving and it's a little painful but that's okay. It's probably getting all the gunk that's stuck in there for years but I just feel like maybe that day should be out of the plan and like just skip that day totally or maybe not do the huge salad and I don't know it was just too much food I think because day three and four there wasn't a ton of food so my stomach was getting used to being small and now it's not so um, I'm making this a little longer because I won't be able to shoot during lunchtime because I have to work now until a few more days because I think it's Tuesday so yeah I have to work till Friday um, but I wanted to say something too about my weight loss I know I'm down um, a couple pounds but I want you to remember that you should never reboot for weight loss although that is an additional reason why I'm rebooting it's not the main reason my main reason is to get my hormones back in track and to get my digestive 
um, tracked in order because that is like really messing me up and I don't understand what's going on since I'm eating more plant foods. I'm just going to basically wipe the slate clean, throw a bunch of good bacteria in and then restart eating good stuff. So um, weight loss, although I'm losing weight, that's not my main focus. So don't let it be the main focus for you. And also um, the pounds that I'm losing um, if you listen to any of Joe's talks, he says that when you reboot for an extended period of time, like 30, 60, 90 days, for women, they lose 40% of their muscle and 60% of their fat. So um, you have to be aware of that going in that you're going to lose muscle and you're going to have to rebuild that back up after your reboot. But once you start feeling good, you can do... Um, maybe some light weightlifting to help stop that and to burn more fat. Um, but just know that, I mean, like 40% of it, that any of the weight that I lose, 40% is going to be probably muscle. So if you are doing a reboot, I suggest not in the middle of winter like I am. <laughs> I actually suggest that you do it when you are decently active outside because then you can do things outside like garden or um, go for walks or bike or something like that that will help prevent you from losing as much muscle. So you might not lose as much weight, but you're going to lose more fat if you can be outside doing some physical activity. Um, it's right now minus 13. And um, if you didn't know, I live in Indiana. <laughs> It's cold. I don't want to go out. I got to do chores still this morning, but um, yeah, the activity level of me is zero at this point. I do have a bike and a bike trainer that I got for Christmas, so I will be utilizing that. I'm just going to kind of go by my body and how tired I feel, how my digestion feels, because your body cannot do two things at once. So I don't suggest any type of exercise in the first 10 days of your reboot because your body is at the moment cleaning and like detoxing itself. So you don't want to do that and exercise at the same time because your body is going to send all the blood to your exercise versus all the blood and like I guess the work, you only have a few workers in your body and you don't want to send workers to go work out while you're trying to clean. So you want to clean first and then you want to go work out. So um, I'm just kind of listening to my body and I know right now that I still have bowel issues and it's really bothering me this morning for some reason I guess it's because I ate all that salad yesterday which was good but um yeah no exercise today for me I would just go to work play my games with my seniors and come home well and go to my doctor and come home but I don't expect much from the doctor today because unless he orders a bunch of tests I'm not gonna let him look at me I don't even know this guy I just this is the first time I'm going to see him so um, I'm just kind of there to see if he has any answers, kind of feel him as a doctor. Is he into nutrition, you know, or is he like 300 pounds? Um, yeah, and see if I even want to like continue a route with him. I have stopped taking my birth control and I'm not going to, I decided I'm not taking birth control ever anymore. Um, that's not natural for my body. And if my body wants to have two periods a month and it's three weeks out of the whole entire month, <laughs> then so be it. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. And I will see you at dinner time to let you know kind of how my day went. Oh, hey, so um, real quick, what I learned last night is when you make smoothies, if you put them in a bowl and you eat them like soup, they actually fill you up like longer because it takes you a little bit longer to eat versus just drinking down something in 90 seconds. Thank you, Dr. Gregor. Hey, so um, it's just after dinner. And um, I wanted to let you know that I went to the doctor, and apparently I'm just getting old, so that was reassuring. Um, but my weight at the doctor was 175.4, so I was just like, seriously? <laughs> but the last time I weighed myself there, actually, um, I was like 170, I think, 8 or 9. So that was good. I'll have to look up on my little health chart. So I like my scale better. And since we started at my scale at 174, we're going to keep going with my scale. So, <laughs> But it's nice to know that at least, you know, I'm not 190 some pounds. So that's good. 
Um, so tonight I have a wicked, wicked headache and I almost didn't want to eat because uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to go through this again because I'm still eating technically. So I think it's just prolonging the hell of three days not eating before your body like switches over and makes you not hungry and gives you all this energy. So if you already eat a plant-based diet, I would highly recommend that you just skip ahead to the juices. Otherwise, I think that you're just prolonging like death. <laughs> so um, tonight I had some mango and some kiwi and some collard greens and an apple that I juiced up for like another fresh emergency juice because I really kind of wish I would have had an extra juice today. Um, I don't think that this plan will be enough given the amount of calories I was eating beforehand versus what his calorie counts are on here. Um, like my basal metabolic rate is like 15 to 1600 and so most of these calories are only like 12 or 13 so um, I just think I'm going to have to juice a little bit more but we'll see. So that was my day. I'm getting old. That was the, the consensus everywhere. <laughs> so um, hopefully tomorrow will go better. I have all my juices out and those juices actually made kind of a little extra. So instead of three juices for the day, um, I actually have like five. So or four if you kind of count those two together. So I think it'll be good. We'll see. But I'm just going to drink some herbal tea and hope this headache goes away because it's probably the worst headache I've had this whole week. Like when I said I had a headache before, like I just meant like it was barely there. Like this headache is like, yeah, it could be worse, but it's pretty intense. And I found out too that ibuprofen, Aleve, all those naproxen type of things, um, they can cause leaky gut. So I'm not going to take any of those things anymore. I have um, willow bark if I need to, and I might take some of that. But um, yeah, day five. Yeah, four, five, day five, down. Whew, brain fog still there. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow.